G'day everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Justin. It's a Saturday afternoon and we've got about three hours to spare. Lorgie, my wife, has just finished work. I've been looking after the kids all day, but we've come down the beach. We've got about three hours until dark um, and we're going to try and catch a feed. Now, I don't know how we'll go, but we're going to give it a red hot crack anyway. So come along for the adventure and let's see. The location we've chosen to fish is Dalrymple Bay, um, right near the Dalrymple Bay Coal Terminal, if you know where that is. And uh, we're fishing the edge of the beach on an incoming tide next to a bit of a rocky headland, well, not really a headland, a rocky little outcrop on the beach. Um, and hopefully there might be some fish pushing bait up against those rocks and we might be lucky enough to catch something. Oh, we're just going to go down here and see if we can get some live bait before Lordy comes down. You reckon we'll get something, Lanny? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I hope we get like a mullet or something or some herring. I'm just going to go for a bit of a walk along here and see if we can spot any bait in the water at all. There's a toad fish, but that's no good to us. No, I can't see anything yet. All we need to find is just like a school of mullet or something. I think that was just a toad fish. They look like something spooked over here. Oh, that's a big fish. I don't know what that was. That looked like, it actually looked like a barra or a salmon. Hitting the bait. Sort of a silver side to it. Let's see if we're lucky enough to get some sort of bait. Water's nice and warm. It's October too, so if it's the last month you can catch and keep a barra in Queensland, north or eastern seaboard of Queensland. After that, the season closes for three months, so if we did happen to get a barra today, we'd definitely be keeping it. Not yet! Oh, something's chasing that mullet right there. I missed it. It's a good fish, whatever it is. Ah. There's definitely some mullet somewhere because that's what they're chasing. It's just a matter of being lucky enough to get the cast net over the mullet. I can't actually see them until they're getting chased, which makes life difficult. If all else fails, we've got some dead bait up in the car, but it's sort of not really going to get salmon or barra or even queenfish really on that dead bait. All we can do. I don't know if you saw that, guys, but there was something flicked in the water just there. Ah, no luck. Where are you, mullet? Where are you? Oh, got something. Yes, finally. Finally. That might be mullet right up in the shallows here, but I think I've got a couple of mullet. We might be in with a chance here. Uh, they're whiting, which we can't use because they're undersized. But I think we have got a mullet. Yeah, we've got one good live bait size mullet and two whiting which we will let go. Whiting. It's too small for bait. It's not legal size. Can you get some water in the bucket, darling? Yeah, we've got one mullet. Alright. 
He looks like he's been smashed by something actually, holy dooly. Look, like someone's just hit him. Claire. Put him in the bucket, we'll keep him, put him on as a live bait. While we're waiting for mummy. Something's already smashed him. I'm gonna put him on as a live bait. Just wait here while I get the, get the roll of the cat. Uh, we're going to hook that live mullet out and toss it straight back over there where I saw that barrel or salmon or whatever attacking bait before. Something's already had a good go at that mullet just recently, so we'll put him back out and see what happens. Well, we've got that bait out now. I tell you, if something hits that bait, especially a big bar or a big salmon or something, and Lord, she's not here, and I pull it in, she's um, yeah, she's not going to be impressed. <laughs> but hey, that's fishing. What can you do? If I'm the only one here, I'm the only one who can pull it in. Anyway, we'll see what happens. I'll try and get some more live bait. I think it's a big bar. Whatever it was, it was jumping straight up. Must have lost that mullet right in front of him, whatever this is. It was jumping, I didn't quite see what it was. It, I've got a funny feeling it might be a barra. I hope so. I hope it doesn't get me in those rocks. Come on, come on. Nice and steady. Come on. It's a barra. It's a barra. I thought I saw one hit the bait before. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. Oh, yeah, nice salty barra. Oh. And it's tagged too. That is a nice barra. First guess he's about probably 70 or something like that. Oh. Well, that's the difference live bait makes. A bit of live bait and there we go, we've got a barra. There we go fellas, yoo-hoo! Nice fish. Yeah, so we've measured him, measured him with marks in the sand, I think he sees over the 60. He comes to 75, so that's a good nice fish to take home. Can I so we're gonna knock that one off and we're going to take that home here put your fingers here and we'll hold the bottom jaw oh yeah nice fish Lanny good size barramundi yeah so when I get home guys I've got to remember there was a tag in that fish and um, it's got a number on there you call it and you tell them the number on this tag and they can give you all the details of when the fish was caught before, how big it was, uh, where it was caught. And it's just good for a bit of fisheries research and to help them understand barramundi a bit more. And um, you get a little certificate in the mail. Um, just to say thank you. Mummy's turned up. Oh yay! Mummy's up there, she's gonna get a shock when she sees our fish. Can and I then, hold it in front of her? No, no, just wait till she gets here. And then she's probably going to bash me up for catching it, but anyway. Huh? Nothing. 
Will she bash you up? Yeah. Oh, I, no. I'm only joking, you know mummy wouldn't do that. Here she comes. Yeah. Holy, holy. I cast it out and he straight away grabbed it. Off he went. Holy. There's more there. There's more sitting there, but I've got no more live bait. I'm going to try and get you some live bait. Oh, I've got something. Is it mullet? Yeah, it's mullet. Juliana, tip that out. I've got live bait. Tip that out, Lana, and get fresh water, please. Hey, grab him. That's funny. Hey. Yeah, I know. Dad, do you want to keep this? Dad, do you want to keep this? Yeah, fill it up and put those mullet in. Yeah, but do you want to do this? No, let that go, please. I'm going to try and try, I'll try exactly where they were. Where is it? No, the mullet we used was this big. B. Oh. The mullet I was using was that big. Oh, wow. I, there's more barrels just sitting there, aren't you? I can see them. I'll cast your line out and then get ready. Oh. That, that's where they're sitting. Yeah. Why that yeah, it'll get better as you use it. Just wait to see that how if they take off with it. Yeah, the big school of mullet. Yeah. I'm gonna have a crack to try and get some. Oh there they are. See that flicker in front of me there, guys? I think that's the school of mullet. They just scattered. Oh, I got a heap of them. Holy dooly. Holy dooly. We don't need any more mullet than that. We're going to take these home for bait, but I'm going to put, put these big ones on live because that's what they're after, darling. Put a big one on live. That's what those barrel were after before. Look, look, see something's been hitting them. See that? Look. Yeah. It could be that the bigger, bigger mullet are just what the barrel might is looking for. Nice big lollipop. Just right there. Put another one on quickly. Lord, you're saying something just killed her mullet straight away. I told you those barra might be in pretty close. Come on, I went got one. Just let him take it. Yeah, but they're just placing it. Come on, dude, go on my line. Stay calm. Just hook it out there. Getting over excited. <laughs> Lord, he's onto something. Saw a rod falling into the water and now she's hooked up to something. Any idea what it is now? Yeah, but it could be a salmon or something. You do it. I want it so it gets closer then you can finish it, right? It's feeling like a stingray. Stingray? Or a shovel nose. Yeah, so it looks like Lordy might have hooked a big stingray or a big shovel nose, something along those lines. 
we both had a go at fighting it but it wasn't coming in you could feel it just sitting on the bottom uh, so we just locked up and ended up snapping it off so yeah unfortunately we thought it was something decent for a bit but no it was just yeah a big stingray or a big shovel nose one or the other oh well everyone thanks for watching our video as you can see we challenged ourselves to try and catch something to take home in three hours after work and we had success we got a nice barramundi a pity we couldn't get more but yeah one <laughs> one's better than nothing i want to catch one too but i can't cut, cut for now. i'm sure mm -hmm. yours will come along very soon darling <laughs> all right thanks for watching our video we'll catch you in the next one